There's one thing we hadn't really touched on that I think actually is fairly important. Uh, at least fairly important for the, the history of it. So when people talk about cups, at least historically now, not as much, there were... You've your you've Apple cups and then open printing cups, and like why why are these they these two separate versions? Yes, yes. What happened was the following: in the be, in in the beginning, in the early two thousands, mm -hmm. I made all the Linux uh, uh, distributions use cups <laughs> and make cups uh, therefore more well known. I don't know whether Apple reacted on this or reacted directly on Mike Sweet. What happened is that Mike Sweet got that Apple has has adopted Cups as the printing system for Mac OS, and Apple has employed Cups has employed Michael Sweet, mm -hmm. and and Apple. And, and Michael Sweet has worked at Apple for a long time, and he by himself has left at the end of 2019. Mm. And so at the beginning of 2020, he was running an own company, but not Cups. He was running a company named Lakeside Robotics. And this company is about uh, uh, robotics and education. Uh, or education about robotics, more or less like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is his uh, and and, but Michael Sweet, he's count, he is continuing to develop cups. But in in the beginning of 2020, we were all expecting that Apple would continue to do develop cups. Mm -hmm. Cups was hosted at Apple that time. And as soon as Mike was not there anymore at Apple, there were no commits anymore on the on the GitHub mm -hmm. of Apple. Mm -hmm. There were no releases of cups. Somewhere in the middle of the year, there were two or three commits, but these were security fixes. Right. So the things, the thing you are obliged to do, <laughs> and. If if you want to uh, use a software uh, and uh, deliver it to your to 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 somebody, mm -hmm. and so nothing happened there. I was very worried. I talked with Mike about that, and first Mike was forking cups onto open printing, mm -hmm. so that we could continue to, to develop cups and later on i think he did some negotiation with apple so that cups that the 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 original upstream of cups is open printing mm. and since then cups upstream is a repository on open printing cups is a part of open printing <laughs> and Michael is also a part of open printing. Michael is also one of the five in the ste in the technical steering committee, <laughs> and and so we, we Mike is continue since the 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 end of two thousand twenty, beginning of two thousand twenty one. Mike is continuing to develop cups, and in the beginning of two thousand one, when we had our annual meeting, Open Printing Summit PWG meeting, Mike has announced Cups 3.x, dropping PPDs and classic drivers, mm -hmm. having separate uh, uh, local server and sharing server. Local server runs as normal user, is only for local print use, and sharing servers for actually sharing printers on the network. Mm -hmm. And this new concept of, of uh, of cups and that classic drivers are not supported anymore. We need we need uh, we need uh, printer applications and so on. <laughs> and then in August 2021, 
I have, I got interviewed by Heather Ellsworth in the Ubuntu in Daba, mm -hmm. and I have invited Mike Sweet into this uh, session. And we have, we have talked, we have told, uh, talked about uh, CUPS 3.x and the new architecture. Mm -hmm. Going all IPP without classic drivers. Mm -hmm. This was long before one heard from uh, Microsoft about that they want to do this. Um, so one does not know whether Microsoft has copied the idea. <laughs> hey, if they copy it, I guess it makes it easier because then everybody kind of is encouraged to to do everything that way. Yes, and unfortunately, what that did not happen. Microsoft did not adopt CUPS. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> it had been great. That would have been really nice. <laughs> yes, yes. We had gotten into a very special situation then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, if Microsoft is doing the same thing that you're doing, even if they're doing it in their own separate way, it does make things easier because obviously Windows is like the main platform. So if Windows is doing something, then people that are making printers are obviously going to want it to work nicely with Windows. Yes, and one thing is also the interoperability. Mm. The driverless printing was not introduced with CUPS 3.x. The driverless printing was introduced already earlier mm. at Apple, probably probably based on Michael Sweet's ideas, mm -hmm. the AirPrint. Mm -hmm. So that Apple wanted that every iPhone can print on mm -hmm. every printer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And an iPhone is somewhat restricted in space. You do not want to have that half the space is filled with PPD files. Mm -hmm. and, and so, yes, yes, this was really a problem when I was... I was uh, developing from for 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 Ubuntu. I had when also in this problem and had one uh, P, uh, Google Summer of Code project on how to compress the PPD files uh, on the fly. <laughs> and yes, yes, and so they have introduced AirPrint, and AirPrint is nothing more than the modern driverless printing. Mm -hmm. The, the modern driverless printing is the printer advertises itself by DNSSD, also called Bonjour or ZeroConf or MDNS. And then the clients pick up this advertising and talk to the printer in IPP. <laughs> and in IPP, there is one call the get printer attributes request. Mm -hmm. And when you make this call to the printer, the printer tells everything about itself. It's trays, it's paper sizes, it's resolutions, it's qualities, uh, and also the, the languages, the page description languages it understands. Mm -hmm. And it is required that for a driver, for a printer being a driverless IPP printer, that it advertises itself by DNSSD, that it does IPP 2.0 mm -hmm. at least, because from then on, we have this get point attributes request. And it understands at least one of four given pointer description languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of them is PDF, and the others are raster languages. You wonder that there's no PostScript, but PostScript is obsolete. Yes. One thing is in free software, Mike and me made it obsolete in 2006 on the first print, open printing summit. Mm -hmm. There we announced that we switch over to PDF as a standard print format. Mm -hmm. And after that, all the, uh, all the applications started to switch over to PDF. Mm -hmm. And when I published the first time CUPS filters in 2011, then all distros, everything was really switched to PDF as the standard print, print mm -hmm. form format. Mm -hmm. 
but also printer manufacturer on the printer manufacturer side more modern printers have more computing power the high-end ones and so they are all understanding also pdf <laughs> and the low-end ones it is easy to implement the raster formats which are supported by driverless printing so so one can implement driverless printing in driverless ipp printing is designed that one can implement it also on cheap hardware mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and with this and the apple airprint the manufacturer started to implement this and so all the printers were starting to support apple airprint and there came up other flavors of the uh, driverless IPP printing. One is the standard flavor, the, the native flavor. This is called IPP everywhere from the, from the, the uh, PWG. Mm -hmm. And IPP everywhere is completely open. All the standards of the PWG are completely open. The, the Apple raster format in the beginning of Airprint was still closed, but it was later also opened. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, CUP supported it. And, and so, so we have, uh, we have on, and then we have Mopria. Mopria is used by Windows and Android. But technically there, and, and also Wi-Fi direct print includes also driverless IPP printing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. all of them are technically the same. As I said, advertise, the printer advertises itself by DNSSD, and then you set the, send the get printer attributes IPP request and learn about all the capabilities, including the, the page description languages, mm -hmm. and then you can send the job. And for and the difference between these flavors is only that the required page description languages are, are different, are different choices of these four. And, and so this means that we have all the printers, mm -hmm. even the cheaper, cheap, cheapest ones which you buy in your discount grocery store, are driverless mm -hmm. because they want them that they can print from that you can print from your phone and this is interoperable i have also taken care as soon as possible to support driverless printing from linux mm -hmm. so all these printers work from linux exception could, could be firmware bugs right. and some firmware bugs are known and then I, the other operating systems also support driverless print, printers. Mm -hmm. Also, Windows and Mac supports driverless printing. So mm -hmm. all these printers print also from Windows and Mac, especially as I told Windows is with a WSL and a printer application running under WSL, you can print from Windows. This mm -hmm also makes use of, of the case that Windows supports driverless IPP printers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is what happens is that the printer setup tool of Windows sees a, a driverless IPP printer on localhost and then prints on this one. Mm 